What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to episode number 25 of Debate and Destroy with yours truly, Blackout Bill. I'm joined with my co-host, as always, The Fiend from motherfucking Carrizo Springs. Local JJ. <laughs> Local motherfucking JJ's in the house. How you feeling today, dude? I am pumped, man. Pumped. I am pumped. Because today we got a very special guest. You see the Jägermeister. Pour me a fucking Jägermeister. I got whiskey. Let's mix this Let's shit. Let's mix this <laughs> shit. We got motherfucking Ruben Alvarez. What's up? A fucking upon a burning yeah. body on Debate and Destroy. So happy as our first guest. We were just telling right before he got in because, you know, for us, we always wanted musicians to get on, but having a San Antonio musician, that means everything to us because JJ oh, yeah. and I for sure bleed. Puro pinche San Antonio. <laughs> yeah, bro. Gotta so, you gotta represent. It's the greatest city that'll <laughs> ever be. We'll get into a couple things of why that is. But yeah, man, we're happy to. Happy to have you on, man. Happy yeah, to have you. Here, How man. you feeling today? Good, good, man. Good, dude. Beautiful, man. We're just enjoying the time off, just fucking relaxing. Hell yeah, tour's nice. about to come up, dude. You guys starting yeah, in Corpus? Yeah. That shit's gonna rock, man. Yeah, yeah. Corpus has always been great to us. Oh, We've been yes. going there since the beginning, you know, and shit. It's just every time we go back, it just feels like it feels like another San Antonio. Like it's just yeah. like home. It's Hell like home. yeah. Corpus no, doesn't get as much metal, dude. But when they do, yes. oh my god, so we god, went to there's one show ragers. in Corpus, and it was. <laughs> It was Lamb of God, Anthrax, Deaf Heaven, and Power Trip. And Power Trip. Yes. It's, it's and the fucking crowd was <laughs> insane. Dude, it All was. the T.O.s came out for <laughs> Anthrax. <laughs> Everyone was right. having a good time, dude. dude. It was fucking I killer. Love That's how Anthrax. it was here, too, for Slayer. And yes. The Freeman. I was yeah. like, holy oh. shit, I've never seen so many black t shirts on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with my family. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. We, uh, I just saw Slayer play in the Valley because yeah. they have a new venue in Edinburgh. Bro, oh, the shit. valley gets down. Dude, yeah, like, they get crazy. I was a li- you know what? I'm calling the promoter for y'all because I, I didn't see the valley on this tour. No. But next tour, dude, you got to go to McAllen, yeah, man. Yeah, we haven't been back uh, since... Uh, actually, we did uh, one date with volumes on the volumes tour, but um, okay. we haven't been back for a while. And I, a lot of people take for granted the valley. Like, yeah, and man. They represent hard as fuck. Yeah, yeah they do. They're fucking killer. Uh, when you guys play there, how were you received? Because I... I'll, I'll, here's why I'm asking because the okay so I'll take a little bit background how we got in y'all's band like we've been going to shows probably since I was like 13 14 <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh, I like metal but I, I I had heard like later on maybe when I was like 17 or 18 like oh you got to check out this band from uh, San Antonio Pond and Burning Body you got to check them out blah 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 there it's because y'all's music video was the White Rabbit oh and yeah, so I saw yeah, the music definitely. video and we we're like holy yeah. shit and if they can turn time. the white rabbit like that we have to go see these fucking guys yeah so uh we saw you with veil amaya and uh volumes and volumes, volumes. that was a bang yeah. yeah and was dude great. we went in like kind of skeptical and we were like dude these guys fucking yeah. rock like, at the time we're like oh man we don't know them yet and yeah because like, we only knew oh a couple God. songs and dude i've <laughs> never seen the white rabbit just for everyone out there it's like this 500 people uh, venue in San Antonio? Uh, now it's a little bigger, but yeah, it's around there. About, about 500,000, yeah. yeah. somewhere around there. Sold out. And I mean, wall to fucking wall was a pit. Everyone's <laughs> Dude, losing their lives. Lose. Everyone in San Antonio is just having the fucking time of their it life. It was amazing. And from there, I was like, dude, these guys, no matter what they do, they have my support. It's like, <laughs> fuck yes, dude. It's a, that's the way it is, man. It's a it's a whole different vibe when you come and see us live. Like, a lot of people, like, they listen to us and yeah. it's dope, but when they see it live, then they're like, oh, I get it now. Yes, like, exactly, dude. Exactly. Like, seeing Texas Blood Money in San Antonio, <laughs> you, like, you don't Holy fucking get it. So I just saw you on the CD uh, uh, release for the new CD, Southern Hostility. Out on fucking uh, Seek and Destroy Records. Go check that yeah. shit oh, out. It's yeah. Amazing. Fuck. Album, but I, t- yes. I took one of my friends who's like, ca- Jay, you remember yeah. Jay? He's a casual metalhead. I'm like, dude, I'm telling you, bro, I'll buy your fucking ticket. You gotta see these guys. <laughs> he, uh, after Texas Blood Money, he's from Corpus. He was just like, dude, that was like a cultural experience. <laughs> <laughs> it, <laughs> is, like, it, it is. Was, it is, bro. man. Yeah. It truly yeah. is. Dude, I have one oh. question. Ever since I've heard that song, and like, y'all, have you ever really mixed Jägermeister and whiskey in a drink? Yeah, actually, what you do is you uh, it's Whoa. actually a uh, Jäger bomb, and okay. you drop a shot of whiskey oh, in there. Shit. Do have it's, like, it's like a black tooth. Oh, but, uh, shit. It's enhanced. With, yeah, exactly. <laughs> enhanced. It was, um, hold on, damn, we did have a name for it. I can't even think of the name right now. I'm, I'm blanking on it. Jäger bomb, whiskey. What the fuck was it called? <laughs> I forgot what it was called. We're gonna rename it, dude. Yeah. Something yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. It had a great name. I just had. Can't dude, just call it Texas Blood Money. <laughs> bro. That's all I need. Yeah, dude. Exactly. <laughs> Texas Blood Money. Yeah. Second question, and all your songs. I mean, my my other brother, he's really into metal too. We always wondered. You guys always say from the east to the south. Yeah. What about the north and the west? Uh, you know yeah. What I mean? What's it's going just on very there? Very specific. We're always like from the east to the south. <laughs> all yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's because it's because that's where we 
track those records. So it, we had, oh, a, we had, okay. we had like a little family in the East Coast where we yeah. would always go and we'd stay there. We would record the records there. Yeah. So um, that whole hype up was actually a friend of ours from the East Coast. So it's not a, any of us. Oh, it's actually a homie okay. from the East Coast. So yeah. He just we just let him just go off and just say whatever the fuck you want. Oh, no, shit, oh really? Still, that's why he's just like from the East to the South. Oh, oh that's so yeah. funny. Okay, that's so awesome. I never knew. I'm yeah, glad you yeah, clarified yeah, that for yeah. me. Yes. Because we love the West. I'm not going to lie. Like the West Coast is actually probably where we do the best, honestly, like, you know, all through the West and shit. So. Yeah, dude. Speaking uh, of that, it's yeah, all about KnotFest, dude. Yeah, so we went to KnotFest 2014. We yes, the one you were on that on. tour. Yeah, and yeah. you know what? I was, like, concerned. I'm like, are they going to play Texas Blood Money in California? And I'm you like, guys did. And you yeah. did. And I was just like, <laughs> yeah. the balls on y'all for just <laughs> going to, like, so close to L.A. <laughs> she was like, fucking Santa. Dude. I wanted to bust on yeah. my Spurs cap. Tell all the Laker fans to suck my dick. Yeah. We're the real champions. Always, no, I'm just kidding. But always, right? It was a good yeah. and, But everyone was vibing. Like, yeah. the crowd loved the it. The circle pits were real. So that's they another question, real. dude. Like, when y'all play Texas Blood Money and, like, you know, fucking Appleton, Wisconsin, do people still, like, lose yes, it? Yes, even, dude, we played it in Japan and people Whoa. were singing. No yes, shit. Y'all went to Japan? I didn't yeah, even know that. That's we, so cool. Japan, Australia, all of Europe. Yeah, wow, we've been, we've been in a lot of places. And, and yeah, that was the, the most eye-opening is people that don't even speak our language and they're singing Texas blood money. Yeah. And I was like, that's fucking that's badass. Fucking that's yeah. incredible. Awesome, dude. That's incredible. That's man. just like the perfect anthem for like, just <laughs> not even anyone from Texas, but like from San Antonio, just parting it up. I don't know, man. It's a great song. And every time y'all play it live, it's just, it gets such reactions. So I was wondering if it was only in San Antonio and South Texas. No, no. Yeah. I'm everywhere. glad that's, that's fucking that's everywhere. Yeah, that, yeah. And it's crazy because people from Texas, they move everywhere. So that's you know, true. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people that that started here are in the military. They're in Germany. Like oh, everywhere. Wow. Yeah. Everywhere. There's, there's people from Texas and it's crazy. Yeah. Like, we always meet a couple fans in every place that are just that's like, amazing. That's man. fucking badass. That's, from, that's a vast dude, state. <laughs> tell me about the suits. Whose idea oh was the God. suits? Was it yours? No, definitely nope. not. Definitely <laughs> not. No, okay, hell no. So yep. yeah, I mean, it was it was something the label wanted us to come out and and just to to grab attention and be like, look, you guys are a fresh band. We need to do something different and try yeah. something out. You put here. the uh, mic a little bit closer. Yeah. You can move it. Yeah, we need to tr- we need to try something different. We need to try something, yeah. you know with the metal band so they were like why don't you guys try wearing some suits and we did it for a while and it actually worked like when we're on mayhem fest and like doing all these old these these tours that we're just trying to gain our, our traction yeah a lot of people were like who the fuck is this band they're wearing yeah. fucking suits yeah <laughs> and they'll go check us out and like holy fuck they're heavy like what's going on yeah because i saw y'all's iced tea story and yeah. i was just like you know you're, you you got to think that would have never happened if it wasn't for the yeah. suits, well, maybe, maybe not. Grab that attention. But that yeah. it definitely was different from like the bands in that scene. So I remember when y'all came out, I was just like, the suits, man. What a cool, yeah, what a different man. like thing to do. We just different. got burnt the fuck out. You know, it was just kind of like. We okay, wait, wait, was it the same suit every show? Because I bet they got fucking stinky. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, hot. Fuck. Brutal. I mean, That's yeah, brutal. Yeah, think about how pricey it would have been if we would have bought, you <laughs> oh, know, yeah, five suits. different suits. <laughs> Holy shit. And then, what was the dry cleaning bill? Did oh you have to give that to the gosh. label? Hey, yeah. Sumerian. Right. <laughs> Take no this shit. bitch. <laughs> so what happened, actually, uh, we, yeah. we um, there was a couple times where we, we had to rebuy all the suits. It's, there was this one time on... Um, I think it was Warp Tour. We had played, and we basically would throw them in a trash bag and say, "Okay, it's laundry day." We threw it by the trailer, and we didn't realize that they came around and they would pick up trash from every bus. Yeah. And so they got our oh, suits and they threw them in the trash. <laughs> so the next day, luckily we had an off day and we had yeah. to go and buy a whole new round of suits. God and damn! Like, yeah. But you How'd know, because you, st- you guys used to have like your embroidery. Yeah, yeah, embroidery yeah. And yeah. Stuff. Luckily we had the file and we were able to find like a place in the mall that could oh, do see, it. Oh, it was a pain Jesus in the ass. Jesus Christ! So, so uh, after dealing okay. with you know instances like that, we're just like, okay, let's just try to go out there and be ourselves. And it worked like nobody cared, you know what yeah. I mean? And we we brought we, we didn't bring any of our production, all our bullheads and ten cabs and all this shit. Yeah. And we're just like, let's just play raw. And the show was just as fucking good. That's, That's good. Awesome, so now man. we're just now we're just more about just bringing it, you know, ourselves yeah. and just let it let yeah. let the music speak yeah, for itself. The energy's exactly. through the roof with you guys. It's awesome. Yeah, man. dude. I love it. Y'all fucking shut it yeah. down. Dude, what, uh, I was gonna talk a little bit about the new album. You know, I know you went from the bass player to the guitar player, but have you always been the principal songwriter, or has it been a collective? 
It's like, it's usually collective, but I mean, um, for the most part, I, I write the groovy, the he- the grooves and like yeah. the heavy oh, nice. parts. Okay, but cool. this last record more so because it was it was uh, me, Danny, our younger brother, and Chris Mora who did it. Okay, and um, it and your younger a brother's part of a band, uh, open cast, closed uh, casket, co- uh, cold casket, cold oh, casket yeah, from here. Yeah, and yeah that's yeah, right. Yeah, amazing, I saw them yeah. that day, and they were fucking crazy. I didn't know until later that they were y'all were all related. Yeah. That's, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that's yeah, so cool. It's crazy, yeah, man. that's so, rad. So you know, definitely runs in the family, and and we wanted to get him involved because he's a great songwriter and and he he was really good with the lyrics and vocals and all that good hell yeah so so we brought him in on this project yeah like why not let's just keep it in the family we can record the record here in san antonio not have to stay you know in another somewhere else yeah you know have to worry about all that bullshit so it was just really laid back yeah and you know being being able to do that it was just amazing you know it made it so much easier and it it just flowed like yeah we all get along so it was it was great oh yeah that's great cool man i do have a question though um was the transition from bass to guitar very difficult or how was it how was it thrown into the fucking fire yeah i know oh really yeah yeah Yeah. so so we're going we're supposed to do a tour in europe with uh trivium Oh, as they die cool. yeah nice and basically oh, shit. Uh, yeah that was, that was a, a huge tour yeah. for us and our guitar player like on this on this comeback with as uh no 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 oh this, this oh, pre, 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 yeah. okay. <laughs> pre so pre shackles <laughs> pre shackles <laughs> so yeah we we're supposed to do that and our guitar player ended up leaving like a week before the tour damn damn and, dude. yeah and was it was it was name ray uh was chris 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 okay yeah, yeah. yeah chris was a, the the lead guitar player at the time and um there was no other option. Basically, it was like, I don't know if I can teach everybody all the guitar parts in a week. It was yeah. much easier just to teach somebody the bass. Yeah. And me just to jump in because I was already I, see, yeah. I was already working with them and we had already r- written the record. So I was like, oh, okay, wow. I know the parts. I just got to get used to playing them live. And that okay. was crazy because at first I was just straight up like, like a toy soldier <laughs> just stuck there. Just <laughs> yeah. you know, not even moving because yeah. I was just so nervous and, and you know, Jumping into that is crazy, especially on that tour like that. I was Man. like, what? Oh, oh, yeah, for sure. Dude, that's so, crazy. Yeah. So did the tour, like, it happened, and how yeah, did it yeah, go, yeah, dude? Yeah, we went, and Fuck it went yeah. great. You know, we, we tore shit. it up. We're, we're the opening band, and it was fucking amazing. Yeah, I bet. Cool, that's man. a killer I love lineup. Those bands you know, too. one time <laughs> the, we saw Trivium at Backstage, and Danny jumped on stage to do... Uh, oh, Pull it? Harder. Pull Harder. He did yeah, Pull that Harder That was pretty badass. Yeah, Matt had him on stage, and we were like... That yeah. was another reason we were starting to get into them, too. I think Trivium gave you guys, like, a little bit of a push. Or someone put something on their Instagram. I don't remember, dude. I don't but, remember. But that was fun. Yeah. yeah. That amazing. was interesting. Because we're a little bit that. younger, so we weren't, like, we weren't, like, in this. I, I wish I grew up, like, because how old are you, 32? Yeah, yeah. 32? Yeah, I'm 25, and he's 20. I'm 27. Yeah. Yeah, so I just, you know, there was, like, a height of the White Rabbit. That's, like, yeah. the legacy, right? <laughs> and yes. so I wish I was around for that age to, like, get part of it, because I play uh, guitar and bass, but it never panned out because I was born and raised in San Antonio, but more on the north side, and all my preppy fucking friends wanted to play pop punk. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's yeah. hilarious. There's like, we yeah. recorded this demo when I was like 14, and like everyone's wearing like polos. You just see oh, me like in a mega death. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> different. Top, just out of place. Angry. Out yeah, like, of place. And I had that, uh, that Tom Mariah like bass, <laughs> and I'm just sitting there just like, fuck this shit. Metal. Oh, like, fuck but, that shit he's too. like, but there's no chicks in metal. I'm like, bro. I don't give a fuck. I want to <laughs> slam, dog. That's all I want to do. <laughs> Come at me with those chicks. Who needs yeah. pussy when you got riffs? <laughs> even, even in that era, too, this uh, Sin 13. I don't know if you guys ever knew about that venue. No. That no, venue was uh, uh, on Main. It's now like a, a taqueria or some shit. But yes. like, that venue used to have shows for like 10 bucks. Like I went to go oh. see uh, Black Dolly Murder and what? Asi Wine. Like, Holy first shit. record. Yeah, you know, that's for so like sick. ten bucks, you know. Every time I die, Holy like, you know, fuck. yeah, like th- those bands were going to those smaller clubs, you know, before the yeah, start before off. the white yeah, before they could even oh. get to the white rabbit, and it's crazy, you know. I was like, Holy god shit. damn, dude. And at that time, I was probably like a sophomore in, in high school. school yeah, 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 so, that's yeah. so cool. Because yeah. I think that, well, like we got in, I got in more to like the early thrash. I don't know why, because I, I. Uh, my dad's from Mexico and I have cousins in Mexico and I was a little kid they always showed me like metal like the big four basically yeah, yeah. like my cousins are die hard Metallica fans so that's where I started just like most metalheads Metallica yeah. Megadeth but in high school I was like the Megadeth fanboy you yeah. can tell you, I, fucking, I like absolutely love Megadeth the guitar, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even, I bought that that's when it. I was 18 I worked at Jack in the Box uh, I was the assistant manager at a Jack in the Box right up here down the road and my first paycheck, I blew it on this <laughs> thing, dude. That's, that's, and that's my that's mom and dad one. were just like, what are you fuck? fucking stupid? <laughs> like, you got to make rent. And I'm just like, well, this thing's badass. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, my God. But yeah, but the first show I ever did was in 2008. And it was uh, Machine Head, Megadeth, and Suicide Silence and Sunken Gardens. Suicide Silence dropped off because of the rain. 
but I remember like seeing Megadeth and I was just like blown away. You know, yeah, I was like, yeah. oh my God. Hooked metal. You know, way past their prime and everything, but I'm still just like, dude, that's Dave <laughs> yeah, Mustaine. Yeah. And it was Machine Head off the Blackening album, so that was, you know, Sick. killer for me. Fuck but yeah. uh, tell us a little about the new record, man, because like the direction, because uh, I, had, I had heard all the records up until Straight from the Barrio, mm -hmm. but I finally listened to that record because I heard the new one and the change in production like direction is Dude, completely yeah, different yeah, yeah, like y'all went like this really cool kind of hispanic uh salsa route and i i saw an interview where you, you played a like mexican norteño music uh no no i didn't my my dad Your dad worked, played yeah he was okay. in, he was in uh conjunto bands my whole life oh, so wow. okay. the Hano, oh, like shit like yeah. that so so i, I grew so you up get down with the yeah. norte yeah. and white chapel dude who gives <laughs> a fuck bro yeah, <laughs> yeah so nice. it was just it's always been uh in my blood and you yeah. know that that hispanic side and, and me and danny grew up here and you know how yeah. san antonio is very prideful oh yeah know, dude, of course you can't, yeah. you can't go anywhere without hearing fucking the Hano and shit. exactly that's right that's right <laughs> That's what that, that that record was that was um, yeah. straight from the body, and I could cool, tell man. it was like an homage. It, it felt like an homage to San Antonio, obviously, because the you know the 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 title track is so like, what's the chorus? It's literally just shouting out San Antonio. Mm -hmm. So I was like, True. that's fucking badass. And that first song with Jose Manga is so banging, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. We're, we're, and he was he was pissed that we didn't play that at the CD release. He's like, oh, oh <laughs> motherfuckers are not playing this. I'm here. Uh, I'm here. Uh, yeah, because usually when we when yeah. um, the record was, was uh, just came out. Yeah. He would play that song in California and he would always come out and like That's badass. That's so cool. his part, you know. So yeah. he's like, What the fuck is that in the set? And I was like, Man, we, we wanna play a lot of the new jams because yeah. we feel like they're better, you know, they're good yeah. jams. Dude, so. That's what I was gonna say. I think Okay, so I saw are, are you have like a profile on Kempers, right? Are you using yeah. Kempers as yes. your main now, amp? Now now I am. Now yeah, you are yeah, so yeah, this switched. this new album was it recorded with a Kemper? Yep. Yeah. Nice. What was the last album recorded with? That was I think like a it was a couple amps, so 5150, you know, okay. Mesa Boogie, I think, and then uh, my 6534, uh, a rec, a dual rec, I think. Okay. So, so it was a couple of tones. We yeah. always layer them. So. Because I thought this one, like, just guitar-wise, the production seemed like it was more, like, in your face, oh, yeah. like, with the guitar. I think it's an immaculate album. And man. I don't know if that, that might have been, like, post-production or whatever. It yeah, might it's be, like, definitely the uh, more guitar-driven. Yeah, yeah, yeah more guitar-driven. Yeah, for Because sure. when, I, when I put on the album, I got to, you know, just the, the first real song, King of Diamonds. God, I was, that's I, dude, banger. I was blown away, honestly. I was like, holy <laughs> fucking shit. Dude, banger, that was a good man. change of direction for y'all, I think. Yeah. And then when I saw it live, it made even more sense. I was yeah, like, yeah. holy and fuck. I, I, feel like, I feel like it was because, I mean, the response has been through the roof. Like, yeah, nothing nice. Like great response. That's and, great, dude. Yeah, I yeah, see you guys shouting out everyone on, a, yeah. on your Instagram and stuff. Yeah. And dude. I'm glad, dude. There's some great bangers on there. I thought Burn was a, a sick one. Yeah. Oh, uh, from the, Darkness is my bro, jam, from dude. Darkness, what a oh. chorus, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't know Danny could, could sing really well. Yeah. And I was like, damn, dude, he really can't sing. And yeah. Yeah. I liked because you, you weren't losing the, uh, the aggression with that yeah. chorus. Yeah. You know, but the whole thing through and through that second to last track, and now I can't remember what it's called. Is it reinventing or doom or uh, oh, doom? Re reinventing doom. nature is pretty bad. Yeah, yeah that one was yeah. fucking killer, bro. It was like a, a great groove, but I thought Burn had a di totally different riff for y'all yeah. starting off, and then. But anyway, the album as a whole, man. Yeah, production wise, the way it fit in, I think it's a great step for where y'all are going. Yeah, and you know, I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to a, a couple of pitches I had for, right. for UABB, but uh. You know, just speaking of which, you know, guys are signed to Seek and, Stri uh, seek and Strike. Seek and Strike. I said Seek and Destroy. <laughs> Wait, Jesus Christ. Like We're all playing off de fucking <laughs> Seek and Destroy. <laughs> We're debating and Destroy. They're Seek and Strike. We should team up. Who fucking knows? But yeah. uh, with Seek and Strike, man, I, I, I was just telling him, I was like, you know, I know about the whole thing. They guys got kicked off as a Marion, blah, blah, blah. But I think it might be a blessing the curse. And the fact that the music is wise, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that I'm, I'm assuming with the new album that you guys have like way more rights and royalties to the publishing and all that. Well, well, it, we weren't kicked off. We actually left. We left. Oh, oh left. you guys left. Oh, okay. We, left okay. we made that choice because, um, I mean, we, we, we've done that our whole career and it yeah. was kind of like, well, I, I just, we just felt like we had to step out and do something different and change, okay. change something about what yeah. we're doing. Cause we kind of felt like we hit that ceiling, you know, we're like, okay, yeah. we're kind of on the straight path and we want, we want to see growth. So yeah. what are we going to do? We just got to step into the fire. So you try want something completely Exactly. Different. And then y'all go to like an independent label and do it. So yourself. you want it to be but diverse. So yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. So Sumerian, they want you to go one direction and you wanted to go something else. It wasn't necessarily that it was just the fact that, that we already knew like what, what we were going to do there. So okay. okay. we already knew that yeah. the, the drill, you know, we had done it for yeah. four albums yeah. and I was like, okay, we get the drill already. Yeah. Let's see what else we can, what else is out there. What else we can do. Yeah. 
And you know the back the background of Seek and Strike is like you know uh, George and Randy they're publicists, uh-huh. so that's what they do for bands. They 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 publicize the bands. Okay. And so I mean that that's what we re- really really needed is somebody that was hungry for yeah. us again and just had that fire. Yeah. And Sweet. that's what they have. You know they they they, yeah. they just they they saw in us what we didn't see in ourselves, and they're just like you guys should be a much bigger band. Oh, you know, I completely we, agree I with agree that. Because they okay. I was gonna speak to the sense of y'all being like. I would consider, you know, everyone has their fucking subgenres. Who gives a shit? I actually saw a really good interview with you when you said, like, dude, we don't have a fucking genre. It's just metal. Yeah, Completely yeah. agree. If I was going to put anything out there, I would say, like, it's party metal. And, and <laughs> for party metal bands, people are taking themselves way too serious right yeah, now. Yeah. I see it all the time. We always talk about these fucking elitists taking themselves way too serious. People just want to go out and have a good fucking yeah, time. Yeah. That's all it boils down to, dude. That's what yeah. you guys you know do I mean? live, man. And that's what y'all Seriously. do live. And it's kind of one of those things where, like, I think... You know, uh, one of the other bands that would be like Municipal Waste. Like, they're a great band to go and just have a fucking great time. Iron Reagan, but they're yeah. like, they're probably like 10 years older than you yeah. guys, I think. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there needs to be another band at that forefront. And I think, you know, I'm glad that record label really talked y'all into that. Because y'all are definitely, I, when I look at the Sumerian bands, I thought y'all, and I'm not trying to be biased at all because we're yeah. from San Antonio. You guys are very unique compared to the other bands on there. Not saying the other bands on Sumerian, whatever it might be. Don't quote me as saying that. What I'm saying is y'all took kind of like what the label was doing and then did y'all own twist yeah, to where when y'all exactly. leave, y'all still have the draw. Yeah. yeah. You don't oh, need that course. major label push yeah, to bring, yeah. to, you know, put asses in chairs. Yeah, the essence has always been there and that's just, you know, to have the energy and the aggression yeah. and all that stuff. And and I, I always say we're, we're more of a, a lifestyle band. Like, we, we sing about real shit about life, you know, yeah. whether it's having a good time or, or we have our emotional songs too that are like, you know, more meaningful and shit like that. So, yeah. It's just it, we're we're kind of all over the place, but I feel like it's it's better that way. Like you don't get bored. You hear a band, and then you hear one song, and you feel like you've heard the whole record. Exactly. You know, I like to have a lot of uh, variety. We, yeah, we do. And y'all do. I mean, yeah. if you took this album, sry and put it to the last album, and the, the you know probably the first two as well, like all of them, They're all you different. wouldn't even think yeah. it's the yeah. same band, yeah. honestly. Yeah, it's you know, crazy. My, you know, despite the vocals, it's very different production wise, even songwriting wise. Yeah. So it's yeah, cool to see y'all kind of grow in that way as, yeah. as musicians. So what's your favorite uh, song off the album? I'm super curious. Mine, uh, <laughs> or like a top song. I would say it's uh, Reinventing. Yeah, Reinventing. Reinventing? It. Yeah. yeah I, I'm one. always a fan of the heavier ones. I, I yeah. love, I oh, love yeah. fucking heavy metal and the groove. Yeah. And, you know, and it's cool because this, this record, um, the idea behind it was to, to write those uh, – hooky guitar riffs like okay yeah. we we need to write those iconic riffs that that's what needs to come first yeah so i would w- sit there and we'll just be i'll just be jamming and jamming and then and then the guys would be like that one that's a good <laughs> that's one. the yeah. one let's go with that you know we oh, yeah. come up with the vibe and be like okay nice. let's do something that's faster this time okay and i'll start jamming and riffing and riffing and then until something would stick yeah and uh-huh. like, let's take that idea and build on that and then that makes know, sense well that's kudos man you executed it they yeah i like it sure. i love those riffs yeah, i really yeah. do Hell yeah, man. So I, I'm going to start with a couple pitches I have for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fuck yeah. So the champ is coming, right? Yeah. Whoever's handle. who's the promoter for Andy Ruiz, the All new right. heavyweight, <laughs> you know, world champion, the Mexican. Bro, we're going to call him up. <laughs> And we're going to say, him. you're walking out to one song and yes. one song only, motherfucker. That's the goal. <laughs> that champ that is, is coming, it. bitch. That's the goal, man. I was like, yeah. this is the perfect entrance song for any fighter. I was yeah. like, MMA, fucking wrestling, exactly. oh anything. God, we need yes. somebody to, to do it, you know? Yeah. And I'm just like, start from the top. We dude, wrote this fucking song yeah. for you. Like, come on, man. Fucking exactly. Do it. <laughs> I don't know if you saw this fucking interview on Conan or whatever, where his dad came out and he was, either, uh, he's actually from Mexico too. Yeah. And he was like, uh, he was just saying like, that's my Mexican Rocky right there. I'm like, hell yeah. Mexican Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dig for y'all. I'm going to find the number. I'm going to blow this promoter up and be like, guys, have you ever heard of UABB? Well, they're doing your next fucking outro music, yeah. bitch. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's literally what, what we wrote it for. I was just like, man, somebody has to do this. Like, this is the song. That's cool, This man. is the entrance song. Like, entrance song, yeah. And if not, we can find, we'll go down. We'll go down the list. <laughs> go we'll down the WWE, list. We'll blow them up. Yeah, then NXT's coming MMA, around. NXT, MMA, yeah. all that shit. Dude, NXT yeah. loves some metal. Exactly. I was going to say yeah. that one dude, uh, you know, the WWE with the long, the long beard, Brian something. He's always oh, man. wearing shirts. But I've heard in the WWE they don't let you get away with a lot of the double bass stuff. Doesn't like uh, they won't let it cut through. I saw that on Jamie Jasta or heard that on Jamie Jasta podcast. Oh, what's a little chill though? That song's not too crazy. I think it might. Yeah, be. that one doesn't really have too much. <laughs> it's more of like a doom. Yeah, ka, doom, like ka, a stomp. Like, like yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is in your face, but yeah, yeah. it's not too yeah. much yeah. double bass. Hell yeah! All right, yeah. second pitch. Since uh, you got to count down the years though, because I know I know you're above ten. Yeah. But when you get to fifteen. The UABB quinceanera to <laughs> Everyone comes Hell out. Yeah, dude. We're fucking sombreros. Yeah. And we all fucking dope. There's a court. 
right? So you do a tour with like maybe some smaller bands and you make like the court of other <laughs> bands. I want my Thea's, my Thea's. The promo is like a, a, a standard. <laughs> yes, dude, it's still standard. It's like, here's that's the court, awesome, bro. King State Tour. Holy Just fucking throw it down. Shit, that's good. Hell yeah. That's good. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's too good. And then I have one more for the Sumerian, dude. For a t-shirt design. All right, it's the UABB symbol, right? The cattle, UAB on the back. Too hard for Samaria. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a big that hit, dude. Sell. Yeah. That would sell. That would Get me in front of the seek and strike, guys. Let me tell them. Holy shit. Yeah, man. Oh, <laughs> that's great. You all well, always have you. had good shirts. I remember the one that was like the, the, the Texas when it was SpongeBob. Oh, that oh one, that's, that's, that's a crazy. classic. It is. Yeah. It really is. That, that was our probably our highest selling shirt. And uh, I oh, remember I all of us got the design and we're like, this is fucking stupid. And they're like, let's just try it. And sure enough, flew. Just flew that one in uh, King of the Mosh. That was the oh, other King one. of the Mosh. That's <laughs> right. Oh, that's so King funny. Seriously, the more like taboo and the more like stupid, the more you sell on fucking shirts. It's crazy. But yeah, I did like the new shirts too. But I've I've been wanting. I need. To, I should have told you to bring the fucking flag thing up. Oh yeah. Because I love that Texas flag with oh, the fucking it's horns. Nice. Damn, that's always been like it. the coolest piece of merch, you know, <laughs> for like a Texas band. Dude, right. That shit's awesome. Yeah. That shit goes. Um, in, yeah. I know you love the new album, but it, uh, for you personally, what what is your favorite album of UABB? Or w- do you hold, or are they all different? Yeah, they're all different. I mean, yeah. I think it's just because they all remind me of a point in, uh, in our career, and that's just the, the whole thing is they take me back when I listen to nice. that first album, and I think about, like, you know, who who wrote that and where we were as, as a band. Yeah. And it's just kind of the evolution, you know? So it's hard, but honestly, this, this newest one is my favorite. It's the yeah. most attached because um, I guess it's just – we took a risk. We took a big yeah. risk, you know, and we, we just stepped out of the comfort zone and we, we, we just went into the fire and, and we came out and everybody fucking loves it. So hell that's yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I would say this one in red, white and green are my favorite of yeah, y'all. That seems to be the, 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 <coughs> yeah. the consensus case. right yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. yeah red, white sure, and green was, definitely. it's a fucking banger, but I think this one is, I think it's better than the last two. Not that I hate on the last two, but uh, straight out of the barrio, I think the guitar could have been driven up a little mm-hmm. bit more. Yeah. But I do like I'm a sucker when y'all put in like the salsa and stuff. Just <laughs> you know what I, mean? I was just like that. No one's doing that. Like yeah. no yeah, one is true. doing it's that. Vastly it's vastly so, different. It's for so sure. unique and it's so like it I said. Is. I bleed San Antonio, so every time I'm here, I'm like, this is the shit, man. So we got to get a blend, like kind of a blend going, yeah. Because I think uh, a lot of people did were like missing that. They're just like, man, where's the, like the mariachi stuff? And yeah. I'm like, I know, I know. We didn't do it, but we just wanted to get to the point and just fucking. No, but that's good, dude. Record, so. I, I think one and done with that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was there. It's good. It's calm. Yeah. But now you gotta you gotta move on as yeah, a band yeah, and yeah. really like start yeah. writing as metal musicians. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Exactly. All right, so we're gonna yeah. do a little a little segment with you. So we were telling you earlier, our, our this whole channel is about debating. Mm-hmm. We debate two albums. We go track for track to find out you know which album's better. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little segment we ca- call the uh, Sinister Six. Okay. So we're gonna do six uh, albums Oof. and we want to hear your opinion as a metalhead which one is better okay cool. all right so we started off our first debate on this podcast ever oh, was yeah. ride the lightning versus rust in oh, peace oh it got heated we gotta know <laughs> which one's better for you damn if you had to pick i'm huge on megadeth too so it's tough that's a really tough one i guess fuck, i gotta pick I would say for me it'd be ride the lightning. Damn. Ride the lightning. Yeah. I told you. Yeah. Fuck you. I told you. Hate both y'all. Yeah. You're both fucking wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it would be ride the lightning just because you know I, I I would say I jam that more consistently and over and over yeah. and over again. You know, actually sure. I, I, I'm actually a fan of uh, Master Puppets, but that, you know, oh yeah yeah. yeah. Oh. See, we didn't know which one to do, uh, so we ended Between. up going with ride the lightning because it yeah. had the same amount of tracks. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah. Is that yeah. what that it was? Sense. And we uh, did do Master though. Against Power Slave, we did it against Power Slave. Oh, oh yeah, I'm Maiden all day. Oh, oh Maiden all yeah. day, really? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, well, Maiden won, so you'll be happy. Yeah. But it was a little bit controversial <laughs> in our in our comment section. Yeah, that's it. Uh, but we, me and my brother, got real into it. But that first one, it was we had to start with that because yeah. uh, me, Eric, and JJ have been having this debate since we were like, God, probably, since like twelve yeah. years old. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, dude, which one is better? We have to have yeah. a conclusion. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's tough. That's a tough one. That, that was really like, whoo. dude. Yeah, they're neck and neck for yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. So I, uh, I I heard an interview with you from Empiricon years ago, mm-hmm. and I got you a gift because you picked it as one of your favorite records ever. But I have a little bit of a bone to pick with you. Right, so okay. This is your gift, bro. Since you're on the debate <laughs> oh. in the store, you got your killers, my <laughs> mate. Get out of here. <laughs> here you no go, way. dude. Hell yeah, bro. That's, That's for you. Awesome. But I gotta know. Since this is one of your top three records, how the fuck is this the best Maiden record? 
Yeah, you why explore. is it you your gotta favorite? You got to defend your case right here. Okay, okay. So when I was in middle school, um, yeah, I was actually I jammed with a friend of mine, and yeah. we did nothing but Maiden covers. Oh, nice. And this is kind of what started okay. everything for me yeah. as far as metal goes. Like I was a new metal kid in, yeah. in like elementary. My friends were like Limp Bizkit, Corn, and all this shit. But as far as like roots metal. This was the first thing that I heard, and and, Hell yeah. and we would watch the live, uh, the live, the videos of oh, yeah, yeah, Hills, yeah. you yeah. know. And I was just like, holy shit! So it just this, resonates yeah, with you. This resonates. Is just, yeah, this is what started it all for like going back and then and then taking a step back and listening to all the old shit, Judas Priest, you know, yeah. oh, the, yeah. um, Megadeth, Death, like yep. everything that's old. So this is the beginning of it. So, yeah. And I would just jam this record over and over. <laughs> yeah. And over. So, so what's, what's your what's your favorite your song on on Killers? <laughs> Here Murders we go. in the Room, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's the thing. I, I, that's what got me yeah. great as a bass player too. Oh yeah, dude. I learned oh, everything. Steve Harris I, I, is I could the play man. A shitload of Maiden songs, and that's yeah. just like uh, that's what got me going. And after that, I was like, I could play fucking anything. You know? <laughs> <laughs> dude, for sure. Steve, Steve, Steve Harris is the yeah. man. That's badass. So the one I wanted to do is uh, because the Paul Diano albums. So you take Killers over the debut Iron Maiden record. Yeah. Over like Phantom oh. of the Opera and Dude, Prowler, that's a good one too. Running Free. Running Free is incredible. Tough, but I think from front to back, this is the one that I listen to the most. And yeah. It's just like, and Power Slave. Power Slave. Oh, Power Slave. Power Slave. That's yeah. top I th- notch. For, I think for us, that's our yeah. favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite for sure. Yeah, yeah man. We know, I, I saw it and I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. And now I'm glad because I was looking for, uh, I think Danny said uh, Cowboys from Hell. And I was like, I was looking for the record store. I couldn't find him. Like, I hope he doesn't come today. I'm going to give him a gift. You're going to walk like, out no. empty. <laughs> that's fucking dope. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. But that's cool, man. Uh, that a lot, that you even know that record because a lot of people kind of overlook the Paul Diano years. Yeah. And that record has so many classics on it, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a you know? yes. So that's a great yes. one. Yep. All right, Definitely. the third one because we're, we're Texas boys. Hell yeah, Cow- brother. Cowboys from Hell or Vulgar Display of Power? Oh, my Fun. God. That's a battle, dude. Yeah, that's a battle. I brother. like Cowboys from Hell. Cowboys from Hell. Yeah, that's my yeah. jam. Yeah, I, I would slightly agree with you on that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's so Dude, hard, man. I don't man. fucking know, man. <laughs> we have to go track for track on that one because yeah. I really, at this point, we haven't done those yet. We're gonna do them. I really don't know, man, because it's fucking hard. But there are some whack songs on uh, on Vulgar. There's yeah. like two that I'm. But like the not bigger hits are on Vulgar. The big obviously yeah. walk yeah, is on yeah. Vulgar. Yeah. But, but I guess that's the thing. I'm I'm not a fan of like big hits. I'm more about since I you know I I, I jam a lot of write. So yeah. I, I like what is musically like what what, what gravitates yeah, you the exactly, most exactly exactly. exactly. I think the groove yeah. and the speed of of uh, Cowboys is like. You know, it's exactly. It's more thrashy. Mouth of War in your Very face, true. dude. Yeah. No, Mouth of War is a vulgar. It's is first it vulgar? Oh, man. Come on, no. boy. I'm sorry, no, man. I tell, I, tell what, I tell you what, JJ. That's it. I'm walking Already out. Already getting me triggered. Walking All right. <laughs> you know what I was going to say is, all I can say is that the ending of Domination might just make the case. Because yeah. if you're a metalhead and, and you don't listen to that shit at 10, dude, 11, 12, 13, and your head doesn't bang, <laughs> I don't want to be your fucking friend. Yeah. That is one of the best fucking breakdowns Ever. Oh my yeah, god. yeah, and that shit live in Russia with like the five hundred thousand people, the one. That dude. That's the one that got you, right? If that's that not the, the dream, I don't know what is. My yeah, god. yeah. That's that's the same thing. Like with with Maiden, is I would watch that Monsters of Rock and just yes. see them perform yeah. and be like, what the fuck? Like this is this is what I want to do. This is like, what this I, is it. Exactly. Like, this is the, that's the awesome, man. Right there. Yeah, hell and yeah. Because they would tour with like Metallica and ACDC. Like oh, what the fuck? Fuck, oh, dude. If you saw that lineup, your brain would just exploding. It's too much. Insane. Yeah. That yeah, lineup's man, insane. So Cowboys from Hell. Damn, I don't know. Because I, I think Mouth of War is one of my favorite songs, but fucking Hostile, oh, dude, what a banger, yeah. man. I can get down to that. Dude, yeah, for real. Definitely. Hey, definitely. you know, uh, I was going to ask, because in Texas Blood Money, I know you give like the shout-out to Fantera and throw the inspiration yeah. in there. Did y'all ever get like uh, any kind of like time to talk with uh, Vinny or, or uh, Phil? Well, Vinny, because I'm sure you maybe you got bigger after Dime died, right? Because yeah, I would think yeah, that's like 06. Yeah. But did you guys ever get the chance to meet Vinny? And yeah, yeah. We met Vinny a couple okay, times. Okay, cool. Um, on Mayhem, we did uh, the Mayhem with Hell. Oh, Hell Yeah. Hell yeah, that's yeah, right. Was, was it, that 2013, 2014? Yeah, I think it was 14. 14, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we would see him h- hanging out and stuff. And yeah. We would talk with him here and there. Just just quick shit. Cool, and then man. When we did Soundwave, uh, we got to meet Phil and Rex. and Oh, and, fuck yeah. Yeah, and they were on Soundwave with us in Australia. And I remember, I have this funny story about Phil is... Um, we, so what they would do is they would put yeah. all the artists in one hotel or like, oh, you know, most of them in, in a hotel, the same okay. one. Yeah. So when we would be getting ready to go to the to the stadium or whatever, they would uh, pull up and pick up everybody. And yeah. One time we were outside and Phil's just there chilling and he's looking and, you know, he's like, you guys are those Texas boys. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, can fix that. Up, yeah. You know, whatever. And, we, and um, 
I go to shake his hand, and I'm wearing this ring at the time. Yeah. And he has a mitt, dude. Yeah. He just crushes my hand. <laughs> oh my God. And I was just like, oh. I was like, oh my God, this is my fingers. I feel the done. power. Yeah. I was like, my <laughs> fingers are done. And Transfer I the energy. I was just trying not to like, like be a bitch about it. Yeah. And then turned around, and I was like, Fuck. My hand is crushed. That is so funny. Man. That's awesome. But yeah, and that's a New Orleans oh, handshake, yeah, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up, oh man. It was God, funny. That's was so like, cool. That guy makes us laugh because uh, I don't know if you've ever seen like the uh, those banger documentaries of like uh, the the what was it headbangers headbangers like journey through metal or yeah what's his name Sam oh Sam yeah, Dunn and they Sam have like Dunn, a YouTube yeah. thing now and they're 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 really cool but he has this classic like uh, interview with Phil oh well, Phil yes. always just like he's just such a character you know what I mean because of his voice and the way he talks but <laughs> we always reference that because he's like. You know, Pantera, when we did the thing, everyone was waiting for the last part of the song to be the money riff. But I said, just make the whole damn song <laughs> the, the money, money riff. riff. <laughs> we've, we've used that quote so oh, many really? times. Oh, like, oh, is so this the money awesome. riff? Is, is this, this the money riff? We're like, that's dude. That's amazing. Yeah. We oh, that make the whole so damn song the money, money riff. riff. Yeah, and we still easy. use that today. We still use that. <laughs> so classic. <laughs> dude, I, the, the three vulgar videos, too, man. Yeah. Those, uh, the same thing. It was just like uh, we were just watching those over and no, over. Yeah. yeah. Those are the shit. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. Yeah, those Pantera home videos are. They're hilarious. They're, classic, so they're crazy. Man. They're yeah. too classic. Yeah, man. And dude, R.I.P. to our fucking Texas yeah, brothers. Dude, Steph, we got to go see the gravesite. I've never seen the Diamondback one either. And now Vinny's right next to him too. That man. one's actually in Dallas. Yep. Yeah, it's actually yeah, in Dallas. Okay. You can go visit and shit. I need to go do that, man. Pay my respects. Yeah. All right, dude. So number four on this uh, Sinister Six, because y'all covered uh, Reminiscence by Avenged Sevenfold. Yeah, oh. yeah definitely. Waking the Fallen versus Trivium's Ascendancy. Man. Ooh. I'm I'm not it's crazy cuz uh Danny's more the the A7X. Oh, he's the okay. 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 I'm, I'm Trivium. Yeah. yeah, definitely Trivium. Yo, you're Trivium. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely so we trivium. Were the trivium. I love me some Ascendancy, dude. Yeah. 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 It was a dude. hard one, but it, it boiled down to uh the production on Waking the Fallen has not aged very well. No, like, but the song itself. The songs oh are insane. Yeah. Like they're yeah. so catchy, yeah. but if they could like redo it, that's basically they should. I, th- I thought yeah. they did remaster it. Did they? No, I but they it should. wasn't like changed. That oh, it wasn't. Much. Uh, they did yeah. a 20 like or 15. Like a 2014 or 2015 reissue. I remember. Reissue. I know they did a reissue. Dude, re-issue. they should just redo yeah. the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. like, <laughs> with, <laughs> with their modern production, like on the stage production with that, it would yeah. sound incredible. What's but your favorite track off of Sendacy? Mine's Rain, personally. Yeah. I love Rain, yeah. dude. Yeah. Rain, Rain's a bang. God, dude, that's nah, straight bro, it's face. all about suffocating sight. Get oh. your shit out of here. Oh. <laughs> that's why I was a bang. And you know what? We're gonna, I'll, I'll go a little story for you because this Trivium's our most watched band. Okay, I've seen Trivium, and I'm not even fucking joking. You, my pictures, Mary. 14 fucking times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have like a, I times. had an obsession in high school with like how much I love Trivium. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> but cuz they were like they were cuz we liked all the old school stuff and I liked new metal but when I was in high school I got in this like little kind of elitist phase. I'm like I don't like new metal and I was being a little bitch. But now I love Corn and all those classic <laughs> yeah. bands. Yeah. But uh so I, when I heard Trivium, it, it felt like a throwback to like thrash mixed with like the yeah, metal core. So I was yeah. like, okay, I can palette them. That's and cool. so that became like obsessed with them. I've seen them so many times. Never seen Suffocating Sight. Nope. And never seen Into the Mouth of Hell We March. I need to shout out Matt and just be like, dude. Come just on. one time, <laughs> one please. Time I tweeted Paulo. I was like, dude. This was the because uh, this last time they came, it was like they're they supposed to play the Shogun. They were gonna play something off Shogun, and they didn't play anything. And I just trolled them. I was like, "Dude, where the fuck was the Shogun?" So I'm like, "That's on the next tour." I'm like, <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm like you're just trying to get me to buy tickets. Yeah, fuck I know, you. Yeah. seriously. But yeah, that's cool, man. Uh, that's cool. They all cover this song, dude. Because I, I, he had never heard it. I just showed him before you got here. Yeah, the Oscar cover. Fucking heavy. Dude, it sounds great. A lot yeah, of people thought great. it was our song. They're like, I love the new stuff. I'm like, oh, it's a cover. Like, oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. But y'all do really put like your own kind of shit oh, into yeah. it. The blast yeah. beats. You definitely the first put your part. own style. Yeah. I yeah. loved it. Yeah, For that sure. shit was badass. Yeah. All right, dude. Number five. Number of the Beast. Cause, well, this might be easy because you're Maidenhead. Number of the Beast or British Steel by Judas Priest. Oh, man. But you love Priest, too. Yeah, I love Priest. Yeah, you love Priest, too. Yeah, man, that's tough. I would say uh, Number of the Beast, yes. Number of uh, the Beast? Yeah. Still. yeah. That's, you, uh, you have a couple of songs you don't like. I think the whole album itself is good, dude. You hate um, 22 kay. Avenue. 22 yeah, Acacia uh, Avenue. I'm not a fan I don't You're like that. Fan, uh, dude, guys, there you go, uh, bitch. Guys, that bro. song is awesome. Like you got to sell the bait. <laughs> Children of the Damned. What's your, what's your thoughts of Children of the Damned? I, I, I kind of like that jam. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not they my influence. Yeah. What was that? It was an influence for many bands. Okay, but the worst song on the album is Gangland. Yeah. That should be known. Yeah, I don't okay. like Gangland. 
Okay. And even Steve, if okay, Steve Harris, agree. if the Lord and Savior Steve Harris <laughs> says that Gangland wasn't even supposed to be on the album, then what else do we got to yeah, fucking yeah. talk about? Yeah, I it's guess not a good right. song. I guess bitch. you're right. That. That's crazy that he wrote like a lot of their shit, right? Steve oh, Harris dude, the all the is. he's fucking the yeah, lyrics, the, the bass, dude. That guy is serious. Dude, he's he, seriously a legend, man. A lot of people, I would say, use the term like you know overrated with a lot of people, or because they have a lot of hype. But you know, Iron Maiden and Steve Harris are one of those bands that they deserve all the fame they got. Oh yeah, they're, oh, they're for amazing. Sure, dude. Like they yeah. literally. Those first seven records are all <laughs> untouchable. Great. Like it's not yeah. right. Have you heard the whole catalog of Iron Maiden? Um, I'm pretty sure it's a, other than like the newer albums, like I, like I, the New Frontier, yeah, and like all those. those. Okay, yeah, I, I haven't lost. heard uh, um, Brave New World, Brave New World, and Beyond. Virtual Nine. Yeah, like beyond the, the, that, I haven't that? heard. I don't that. remember what yeah. that singer's name was. I don't know the one that took over Bruce. Not Paul Deano. Oh, Paul Deano's the first. Yeah. No, no, that's the first uh, one. Bruce Bailey. Bruce Bailey. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't hear those records. On that, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. That a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, bring your slot. Bring your daughters to, to the, the slaughter. slaughter. <laughs> that's what it was, dude. Watch the fuck out. Yeah, that's funny. All right, and then number six. This one is very controversial, so I have to have you weigh in and let everyone in the world. No, the answer to this question. Oh my God! Here we go. Austin tacos or San Antonio oh, tacos? No way, San Antonio. No, Thank you. you heard Thank it you. right yeah. here. Yeah. It's Antonio a whole different breed. And, and you know, you know what's another debate is uh, California versus uh, Texas. As Their well. style is very Ooh. different. I can't. Though. So different. Yeah. Because yeah. They, they 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 think our taco is a burrito for some reason. Yeah, I don't I'm know. Like, I don't know. Uh, so there's like some kind really? of mix up. Yeah, there's a mix yeah, up dude. there. Their tacos are very different. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck's going on? But yeah. I'm like, no, this, I guess it's just Tex-Mex. That's what it is. It's a whole different Tex-Mex breed. is Tex-Mex. Mm-hmm. I can't speak for California. You only went there once. I didn't have a fucking taco. <laughs> yeah. um, but I can speak for the Austin one. And I got to go on a rant. I just got to go on a rant, dude. I see all these fucking vice things on Austin, <laughs> all these stupid <laughs> fucking things on Austin tacos. Everyone in this fucking country, San Antonio has better tacos. Yes. There's oh, more Mexicans. Yes. There's better fucking food. <laughs> yes. And the people are fatter. Look at us. <laughs> yep. You know what I yep. mean? That's, <laughs> how you know <laughs> that's, that's, that's how you know the tacos <laughs> the are better. The tacos good here. are better here, bitch. <laughs> well, that the, being said, where, where's your go to taco uh, place in San Antonio? Masa, uh, <laughs> man, <laughs> yeah. uh, Tommy's is a spot. I mean, Tommy's, Tommy's is Bob McCoe and Big Red, dude. What else do you need? And what is the other one in downtown, man? There's. And it's right there by the McDonald's. Hold on, I can't think of the name right now. Guys. Martinez? No, fuck. That's oh. one of those typical names, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, uh, on the south side, there's Eddie's, Rolando's. Eddie's, Eddie's, yeah, Eddie's yeah. Is dope too. Rolando's. Yeah, have you ever Rolando's, been there? Yeah. Oh, the, the super puppies? tacos. Super those tacos are fucking huge, yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, the one on the south side. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. that place. Yeah, hell Roy's. Yeah. Roy's is another one. That yeah, Roy's. Good. Like, man, there's, uh, there's too many. Yeah. It's all any first name you can think of. Seriously, and. About two years ago, I started working on the south side because, like I said, I've, I've been on the north side most of my life, and I didn't realize that basically any fucking place you walk into, you're going to get served good fucking tacos, uh, yeah. and they're cheap as fuck. Because yes. the, the real argument with Austin isn't that their tacos are horrible. It's just that if you charge $4 for a taco, you can suck my dick. Yeah. Okay, that's, I mean, that's yeah. number one. Okay. Yeah. Four dollars for a taco? Yes. If you try that, and Mexico, they're pretty nice, they dude. Shoot you, bitch. Some of them are six. <laughs> like, the Have you been to the Sixth Street on Chupacabra? No, there's a restaurant called that, and their tacos yeah. are six fifty, dude. Six fifty? What are they dude, serving? Dude, it's just, just yeah. there's called a vampire taco. It has like brisket, queso fresh. I, I mean, it's good. Oh, it's good, but dude, god damn it, I can get like five tacos. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, want to get started. Dude. Where did we go that, the other day for lunch on the south side? What was that place called? Oh, dude, I don't even remember. Um, the one I always show you, the yeah. one I showed you. Uh, taqueria Alisco. Or, or it's, it's a it's a taqueria, dude. It's a taqueria. Yeah. 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 It's by my place. Yeah. Lunch special, dude. Four ninety nine. You got a whole fucking plate and a tea, I bitch. Do the, I do the tortilla test where if you touch it and you get a little, little flour on your finger, that's how you know. <laughs> that's how you <laughs> know. That's homemade. You got a, a abuelita in the back fucking that's making myself, them. Dude. Shit fucking. No, and then there's places I go to fucking Austin. Like, dude, I have these fucking just fresa friends who take me to Torchies. Uh, and and no. motherfucker, if you don't cook the tortilla, we got nothing else to talk about, bitch. We got. I. Lo- that's when you leave. If you don't cook the fucking tortilla, I'm, I'm gone, bitch. Bye bye. See you over. later. Came oh over. Give me a fucking cold mission style tortilla. You probably picked it at HGD. <laughs> Fuck out of here with that bullshit. Yeah, consistency no. is everything, uh, man. I I bite into a taco and I'm just like this. 
tortilla is just straight up. You can tell, like, oh, it's yeah. out of the package. <laughs> you can tell if it's I'm real like, or not. That's Fuck, so no. funny. Hell yeah, dude. man. Tell. So oh uh, I know you and, and Danny always talk about the South and the West Side. Which one? Are, are you from the South Side or the West Side? I grew up in the West Side, yeah. On the yeah. West Side? Okay, yeah, cool. Las Palmas side. area? Or? Yep. Okay, exactly. Las Palmas? Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool, I grew man. up right there. I went to uh, Brentwood, Kennedy, Emma Fry. Like, oh, nice. And then I moved to the Northwest, which is still pretty West Side. But yeah. Leon Valley? Graduated to J, so Marbach. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a North Side district, J. Highway 90, is. shit like that, yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's yeah. fucking badass. Dude. I lived all yeah. over the place. Honestly, through my childhood, I moved a lot, so yeah. I would go back and forth from the south to the west, and then I even moved to the east side. I lived everywhere in San Antonio, literally. Oh, wow. Yeah, the whole fucking Hell city. yeah. So <laughs> after, you're definitely more traveled than we are. After all these cities, it's San Antonio. What do you, how do you rank it? Still up there? Oh, yeah, definitely. You're going to retire There's here? no You're place paid. like home. I don't think, I don't think, yeah. I, w- I don't know if I want to live anywhere else, man. It's just, it's just home. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I would, I would, maybe I'd go live somewhere else for a little bit, like a couple of years, but I think, yeah. you know, I would come Your back. heart's right here. Yeah. Your heart's right here. <laughs> man, it's yeah, a different man. way That's of life, awesome. man. It definitely is. It's I like, agree, dude. It's chill. Like, I don't know. I feel like in the East Coast, it's like fast paced. Like, I, when yeah. I, the first time I went to New York, I was like, why is everybody on fucking crack here? Like, it, it's just like, <laughs> what's going on? It's like, so fast traffic, paced over there, yeah. right? The traffic, yeah. yeah. It's like, everything is just ridiculous. And I was just like, man, it, 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 and same thing with California. It's just overpopulated, a lot of bougie shit. And I'm just like, oh, I'm like I'm <laughs> it not, is I'm different. Not a fan, for man. Sure. Like, yeah. yeah, man. So, uh, so I wanted to ask, uh, where do you guys record? Uh, w- right now we're recording at, uh, with uh, Chris Mora. Yeah. And he's, he's in a band called Charcoal Tongue from, Charcoal from Tongue. here. In what's the studio called? Uh, I, uh, Iron Horse or Workhorse or Workhorse? Uh, workhorse or Iron Horse? I can't remember. Okay. Right <laughs> right. Yeah, because I always yeah. just it's just Chris. I just I, you know, yeah. I know yeah. it's Chris, but yeah, but <coughs> he, he's up. he's legit, man. He he's a uh, that's the thing is he's he's um up and coming and he has a fresh set of years that's just like you know we that's need good. that's what we needed is this yeah you know when you go to the older producers take. and it's kind of like they're setting the stone. Uh, old dogs can't learn new tricks, exactly, man. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's you need awesome. someone who kind of like. Fuck yeah, that's a banger right yeah, there. That's Instead cool, of the guy man. behind the panel, like, you want to retake that bitch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, recorded everybody in the mother, so yeah. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's awesome. Hell man. yeah. Well, um, as far as like the metal scene, like here in San Antonio, you know, it was very deathcore for a while. Do you think there's like an up and coming scene here? Because honestly, I live here and I don't really know what's going on. Well, yeah, man. I saw like a local now. epic metal band the other day called yeah. uh, Jesse I feel Kill. Like Oh, Jess uh, Kill. Jesse I've Kill. That, yeah. the, the guitarist was in that band, uh, Immortal Guardian. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then now he's not with them anymore. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. And they were like, I think they came, they got kind of big. They're definitely the Iron Maiden influence. Yeah. Like, no, 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 dude. Yes, like they Halloween are. Dude. And oh, that's some It's epic, very some, epic. Yeah. yeah. It's the guy mm-hmm. who can play the guitar and the piano at the same time mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Gabriel oh, Guardian, Immortal right? Guardian. I know, I was talking about Jess Kill. Oh, Jesse yeah. Kill is very Iron Maiden. Yes, absolutely. Judas Priest sounding. That's sweet, that's sweet. But yeah, I know. Those are like the only bands I know. I don't know if there's like any ones you can shed the light on because I need to like start getting in the fucking scene here and like hitting up people. I saw an interview you did with like one of your friends who does like a wrestling thing every oh, Thursday. Yeah, yep, heavy yeah. metal wrestling, dude. You oh, really? Check him out. About this? He does free, yeah. There's like free wrestling shows every Thursday. Yeah, and what? it's legit as fuck. It's, really? Yeah, it's literally like the pi- the best uh, production wise. Wow. Like, yeah, it's it's really cool. And I'm I'm like, man, you guys got to get out. Like, you know, I want to I want to cool, hook man. them up and and try to really push them. That's what I want to see. I want to see yeah. good wrestling. Yeah, the last exactly. we went to. We went to the last wrestling event I saw was WrestleMania Dallas in Dallas. Oh shit! And it was awesome spectacle, but the wrestling's so subpar, man. Like yeah, I want some, really some good stuff. Yeah. And if you say that's good, man, I want to yeah. check it out. Yeah, it's great, man. Yeah, I, I had a good time. Like I hadn't been to uh, same thing. Like I think since like WCW was the last time. <laughs> oh, I was holy shit! Yeah, when I was younger, so I was like, holy yeah. shit, this is. Were dope. you a wrestling fan back in the day? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But oh, it was yeah. in the glory days, you know, when yeah. fucking Shawn oh, Michaels. I know what you're saying, dude. Cold, dude. You know like, what'd be an awesome just coming out? You know how people. Like put on their song before they come yeah, on yeah. is the fucking Eddie Guerrero's theme song. What was it? Him and Chavo. Oh my god. We lie. We cheat. We oh. steal. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that show is so well. You right. know we That's had so a nice. LWO shirt. Oh really? Wow. Yeah, oh, yeah shit. a fucking straight up LWO That's cool, man. shirt. Hell yeah. yeah, that we put out because I was like, dude, it's fucking, <laughs> it's nostalgia. We're all about that yeah. too, like nostalgia, like going back to our yes. childhood. We, Obviously, the uh, the BMF music video is very yeah, fresh. Prince yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we had a Street Sharks shirt, like that. Oh, you ever dude, remember that shit? Like that shit's old. Like, God like, damn, that's crazy, that's crazy yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, so we always pay homage to like all the stuff that we love growing up and um, yeah, we uh, the. Um, Frankenstein cover from Frankenstein. Yes, yes. With, from Alice Cooper. That's what you're telling me right now. Yeah, y
I compared it to the original. I'm like, dude, y'all did like a fucking awesome job on right, that cover. I loved it. I loved Anyone it, who yeah. hasn't heard that and you like Alice Cooper, go check that shit out. Have you ever seen Alice Cooper live, by the way? No, I haven't. And you know, God, I, I was I crazy because yeah. we didn't plan it, but like we, we dropped the song and then we find out that he's touring again. Like I was like, holy yeah. shit, he's coming out of the woodwork. He's fucking touring again. Like, yeah. That's, that's what's up. Has that's I know dope. Danny is like a big golfer. Has he ever played golf with Alice? No. He, <laughs> wins, he wants to, definitely. He, he, wants to, he wants to get out there and play with more people like yeah. that. Again. I'm sure yeah. that's hard to find, though, in metal. Yeah. Like, oh. Metal golf. No, actually, you'd be surprised. You <laughs> really? Know, a lot? Howard Jones, uh, he plays a lot of what? golf. What? Howard Jones? That's yeah. cool. That's like, crazy. Yeah, you, you, the most random yeah. people, you know, fucking throw down on golf. No shit. That's dope. Yeah, it's weird. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's just a good uh, stress relief. I can't play for shit, but, no. you know. Man, but. I haven't played since middle school. Yeah. <laughs> I don't play golf. I fucking hate golf. I have a whole rant about golf, uh, but, yeah. you know, what everyone takes yeah, their there, own. There is a couple bands I want to mention that, that are great from here. You know, yeah. okay, my sweet. brother's band is, is doing amazing. Uh, Life Cold, Cy- Cold Casket. Yeah, Cold, Cold Casket, Casket, motherfuckers. Yeah. Go check that Life out. Life Cycles is another Life fucking Cycles. Great okay. fucking hardcore, you know, band coming out. And, yeah. Uh, Charcoal Tongue is amazing. Charcoal you know. Tongue. Okay. Yeah. Man, there's a, there's a couple. I mean. Trying to think of who else is like doing really good things. I think it's Danella Drive. That's how you say Danella it. Drive. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They're kind of uh, a little more like on the softer side, but they're, yeah, they're great. They're great. Okay, yeah. cool, Damn. Man. Hell yeah. Yeah. I need to go check some of those out. Cause I, I think it's alive, man. The metal scene here is definitely like yeah, I thriving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's thriving. Me and him want to just you know the whole goal of this wasn't to be big or anything like that. We are literally just diehards. But now that we're getting older, we're starting to realize the number one thing is community and kind of building yeah. up people from the roots and really promoting, you know, people around you and and kind of having your gun out for everyone out there. Because no matter what kind of metal you play, it's all metal, bitch. Like, yeah. we're all in the same family. We need to promote it. Yeah, that's yeah. why I hate that I, shit. When they're like, you know, yeah. you're subgenre after subgenre. Dude, like, I know. Yeah. It's just like, okay, if you don't like it, you don't if like you it. Like it but you, you like gotta it. support it. Yeah. It ain't Katy Perry. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, exactly. it's not fucking fever. Exactly. It's fucking metal. So, exactly. that's awesome, you know what I mean? Man. Like, we went to, uh, uh, no, did you go with me to Doom Forge Day? No, I didn't get to do that one. So the in one Austin, in Austin, in yeah. Austin yeah. they're having like this big doom resurgence. There's all these doom bands. Oh shit! Yeah. So we went. To, I, I do. Do you drink a lot of beers, like local beers yeah, or yeah. whatever? Do you know Jester King in Austin? Jester King, I believe so. I've heard of that. It's, it's like a farm. Cool. Well, they had like cool, a day man. where they did like yeah. a metal thing. So I went to go just talk about like, what we're doing. Didn't really like go all out because I didn't really know what the vibe was gonna be. But it was all doom, and it was very. Interesting. Let me yeah, say this. Yeah, Doom is definitely. Okay. Interesting. I, I'm okay with Doom, but I meant the the people who are there. Oh. If okay, you're wearing a Stevie Ray Vaughan shirt. If I asked you about Stevie Ray Vaughan, you'd probably know Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yeah. It was a lot of people wearing shirts, but yeah, then you they ask them, know. and they're just like, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's more about the about. shirt. Uh, than the uh, <laughs> and I was like, want to fit in. That's yeah, all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, I'm yeah. not about that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was like, fuck that shit. Best crowds are in San Antonio oh. anyway. Not Austin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen some bang- I've I've seen some great shows you, in Austin. You know what's oh, Mohawk's weird? badass, dude. Yeah, Mohawk is that place. that's a great yeah, band. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, it, it was weird because I had gone to a, a hip hop <laughs> show randomly, and yeah. I was like, "What's going on here?" I was like, "All these kids are moshing at a hip hop show, really? yeah. and it's like it's like scene kids, almost like what used to be, I guess, considered scene kids are going to these hip hop shows." But then I feel like. Metal is definitely on the resurgence again. Yes, and yes. it's like coming back because I mean everybody's coming back. You know, com- coming out with new. I uh, what is it? A uh, wage war, I think, or wage war. Yeah, or war okay. ages. Sorry, war ages. They're yeah, coming yeah. out with a new album. Like you yeah. know, a lot of bands are oh, coming. Oh man, back. I've heard them yeah. in this, a long this time. This year is like the yeah. year of like all bands are coming out with new albums. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's helped or hindered you guys because there's been like. There's a ton Holy shit. Dude. There's, there's you know, a lot. Gojira, Soil Work, Inflames, Amon Amarth, Baroness, Jeez, uh, so, Korn, just, Slipknot. Yeah. All the yeah. thrash all bands, co- Overkill. Kill Switch is coming out with a new yeah. album this year. Yeah. Jeez, so you guys got a lot of competition, but like I said, I think you guys have carved out your niche and you can grow past yeah, that. Yeah, people yeah. think it's oversaturation, but no, man. It's open to the ear, man. It's, it's, exactly. it's great. I you know just think it's a good thing. Yeah, I just think there needs to be more headliners. That's what it needs because that's why. Yes. That's why I think a lot of the festivals died off is because they ran out of like, okay, yeah. what bands are big enough to headline these gigantic festivals? You know, and there's only a couple. There's like Slipknot, you know, yeah. Sevenfold, Corn. Like, Man, it's you know, crazy, right? S- Slayer, like you know, on that end. Yep. So it's just, it just, you know, there needs yeah. to be more bands that that pick up that torch and like. Grow I completely to that agree. Level. Yeah. But at the same time, some of these legacy bands need to have a better eye for like. All right, not only it's not who gives a shit if I like the music or not. These guys can command a crowd and they yeah. have an audience. Yeah. We yeah, need to put exactly. the message. 
That being said, are there any plans in the future for you guys a tour as a support? Or you we guys want just to. That's that's the goal, you know. I think okay. I think uh, because I, I completely respect y'all doing a headline. That's fucking awesome that you guys have the, you know, still how many years? You know, like ten years plus, y'all can still headline yeah. and do like a big tour. That's fucking way more than a lot of bands can say. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Y'all have made it very far. The goal is to is to definitely support those bigger acts and try yeah. to get into that to that bigger world, you know, but. I mean, it, we just got to take what, what comes, you know. And I think there was a stigma, obviously, be behind our last record in this one. Yeah. And now the hype is building, so we hope yeah. that those offers That's will good, come man. in and those bigger bands will yeah. be like, hey, this band, you know, they're, they're worth something. Like, we should bring them on tour. You exactly. Know, so. I completely agree, dude. And uh, Seriously. I had this whole idea, but I don't – I think it's too late now. <laughs> it's too late now. I would have <laughs> pitched it to Danny yeah. like three years ago, yeah. but not anymore. Because I, I always tell him – yeah. So you, you watch a little bit of wrestling, right? Yeah. You know, there's like, there's heels. Who's the heel in metal right now? There's no, no heel. heels Who's the metal. bad guy? Dude, bad guy. Danny should have just come out and be the bad the guy. Bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? oh <laughs> just God. have people hate him. Yeah. But, I, you know, never mind. The guy from Attila is doing it. I, but know, I, don't, I don't really get down to their music as much. I know, they have a pretty big following. Yeah, right? they're they pretty. Got a yeah, they got, yeah, they got, they got, they got a, a big following. They just yeah. came with uh, all that remains. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think we missed know. that show. Fuck. Damn. But I yeah. think that's the thing is you got to be really mentally stable to be the yeah. most hated person in the yeah, fucking that's industry. A lot of, <laughs> that's a lot <laughs> to <laughs> handle. As, as you know, it's a lot of show business, a lot yeah. of acting. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Danny would have to be ready to just like <laughs> every interview, every question. You're in that. You know what I mean? No. I'm in that yeah, yeah, exactly. We're just wearing those sunglasses. Yeah. Can you answer this question? No. Bitch, fuck you! I'm no, from Texas. No, <laughs> never, never. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god, that'd be so funny. Just calling out New York crowds. Hey, bitch! You know what's better than New York? Texas. That's what's called Texas blood money. <laughs> we love to. We, I think we just have too much fun, so we wouldn't be yeah, able to pull it are, off. Yeah. We just be like, we just smile over. too much. I know. We just fuck around be like, and be like, just straight up, just all the you time. You can't do it. You just can't do it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's oh, good. that's <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah, it's good. Uh, <laughs> or go through an agent. She's like, this is our new agent. We don't we don't do any press. He's our agent. <laughs> <laughs> he talks. Oh, fuck yeah, man. But anyway, man. So, uh, new tour is coming up. It's only in the Southwest, right? Uh, no, no. It's it's full U.S. and full we're, we're going to okay. be announcing more dates coming up. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get that McAllen show, man. I know. Yeah, I would love to see how the crowd reacts to you, upon oh body in the Valley. Oh, I think they're going to lose their minds because I know yeah. San Antonio is crazy, but I have a feeling. <laughs> Like I said, I just saw fucking down south. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is such an underutilized market. Yeah, I want to do something there promotion wise. I want to get in contact with some venue owners down there to just get bands because, like I said, they have that new venue. And the show that I just saw there was uh, it was that Slayer last tour or whatever. So Slayer, Lamb of God, Amonamarth, Cannibal Corpse, yeah, and people were fucking. Cr- it was amazing. But yeah. you know, it was the only Slayer show I've gone to where there wasn't a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The That's other Slayer shows I go to, people are angry. Yeah, I went to the Austin fight. show and there was a fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember that one in San Antonio? It was with Megadeth. Oh my God. There's fucking like five so of many them. fights, dude. There's so like many, five. you know, assholes come out and don't want to have a good time in the pit. That's the thing about y'all. Every uh, UABB show I've gone to, there hasn't been a, it's all been smiles. Yeah. You know, people get rowdy, but there ain't no fights. You know what no, I mean? No, no, it's good, man. I think I think we promote that pretty well. Where yeah. It's, just it's like, a, let's come out and have a good yeah, time. You yeah, know what I mean? That's it. That's what it's all about. And it's crazy because I feel like a lot of our fans are the working class, and it's just people that come out just to do that. Just They yeah. just want to let loose. They work all fucking week. And exactly. Just, yeah. That's it. They come to just. That's us, dude. Man. I yeah, also, uh, us. when you, when your buddy did the interview with you, I saw the video of you when you were like younger and you were slam dancing. <laughs> oh. I got to show you. Ruben. Ruben's got some moves, Damn. dude. What? In an interview? No way. Yeah, bro, your uh, your buddy, uh, I don't know if you saw his video, he, he put like, he, he uh, edited a video of you like way oh, back in the day. Oh, Adrian, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're like slam yeah. dancing. Like, yeah. Bro, he's going ham. He to go off. Watch out for Ruben in the pits, dude. Damn. Yeah. So what, like, out of all metal, uh, who, who's like top three favorite bands? So is Maiden one of them? Or? Yeah, definitely Maiden. You know, but who gets you crazy in the pit? Like, what's the fucking... <laughs> Pits what starter. makes you dance? Uh, That's what, what makes it you is. dance, man. <laughs> Damn, I, I love Dead to Fall. Have you heard of Dead to Fall? No, no, Ooh, man. Ooh, yeah, we gotta hear them cool. out. Dead cool. to Fall. Nice. Yeah, put that yeah, yeah. Dead okay. to Fall is definitely one of uh, my biggest influences when it comes to like, and I think the bands like Danny was a huge influence. Uh, because what they would do is they were uh, metal, like I guess they were more in the core ages, like yeah, you know, okay. breakdown era, but they would always have these crazy sing-alongs. Oh, and, really? And it was yeah. the whole crowd would just chant. It'd be like it would be like 
pits and, and breakdowns and then all of a sudden this huge like vocal Chin. part yeah. and the whole crowd would just sing it and it, yeah so i think dead to fall was definitely the one that would just get me going or haste today like they're an old band that, oh i know haste today yeah they're kind yeah. of uh more rock and roll like mm-hmm. every time i die kind of vibe but yeah you know that they, they would always get me in the pit same thing singing like yeah. singing songs and cool, shit so, hell yeah. yeah what yeah, about nowadays do you still listen to metal or are you uh, yeah, what yeah. kind of music do you listen to like personally i like um, still a lot of metal out yeah, there yeah yeah I, not too many newer st- not too much new stuff but uh, i like a uh, gorod have you heard of gorod no no oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, you guys i'll gonna put that one down treat. too oh yeah it's nice. it's a technical uh french death metal you oh know, but shit. but it's oh. super groovy like yeah. the the grooviest fucking so g r g o r o d yes okay, okay. yeah yeah okay. Uh, they're on tour that. with uh what's that band that old um man another technical death metal band that was like from back in the day fuck i can't remember but they're, they're, they're they don't come to the states very often yeah i know they just got done doing a round in the states yeah. but yeah they're from france and they've been a, a cool, huge man. influence of mine because to me they have those grooves like dime like where it's metal but it just has this like Groove, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I love Hell the group. Yeah. Um, um, what's a, a life once lost? Like those older bands. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good oh, yeah. band. Um, Gojira. Yeah, Gojira. Oh, Gojira. Yeah, Gojira. yeah, we're like Gojira fans. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're <laughs> super Gojira, Gojira fans. Yeah, yeah. We used to have this running joke because bef- you know before the White Rabbit turned into the Paper Tiger, yeah. Gojira had played like maybe like three months before. And I tried to get these fuckers to go, but I was yo- I was a <laughs> wasn't into them just yet. Uh. <laughs> yeah. And I, I didn't have a car yet, and I was like, guys, it's fifteen bucks. I didn't have any money, and I was like, please pay for my ticket. Let's fucking go to this thing, blah blah blah. And they're like, nah, <laughs> we can't do it. They didn't like Gojira yet, so we didn't go. And then uh, it was so funny because then it changed the Paper Tiger, and I would always tell them, you know why I turned the Paper Tiger? Because Gojira <laughs> burnt that shit <laughs> down. That's why. And we missed it. You fucking cocksuckers. Yeah. Jesus I'm sorry. Christ. I regret it every time. No joke. Yeah, yeah, lineup was insane. Now they're fucking huge. Yeah. Fucking huge. Now they're, yeah. Dude, this, they played this Polish festival. Oh, my God. And it was like an insane amount of people. Um, that was another question I have for you is how are you guys received in Europe? Great, great. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that would yeah. be really cool. They, they have a, yeah. uh, it's a different vibe, but it's 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 great. You know, yeah. I love it. Yeah, they have a they have a huge metal scene all over. Oh, Europe. yeah, yeah. It's crazy how bands sometimes they don't make it in the states and they they make it over there yeah, and they just tour yeah. Europe. They're like, fuck it, we don't have to go to the states. We yeah, tour Europe for now. Yeah, on, yeah. which so uh, cool. which country had like the best reaction to UABB? Man. No, it's, I don't mean to put uh, you on the spot. South uh, America? UK, the UK, UK had UK, a great, yeah. and then uh, Germany was yeah. amazing. Yeah, um, uh, Thailand was great. Oh, Thailand. Thailand? Yeah, Thailand, Thailand. yeah, Thailand was what amazing. The we went there with uh, Suicide Silence, and Holy yeah, shit. it was an amazing Damn. Dude, show. Dude, that's so sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's insane, man. Yeah, wow, it was a trip. I, I ate like a scorpion and shit, like uh, from a <laughs> what? From a cart of bugs. Yeah, they were just moving around. Just random ass bugs. Yeah, in there. Like, there was a street cart, and it's like just like a taco truck, like just wheeling it around, and it's just nothing but insects. How was how was the scorpion? It was like bacon. It literally, really? It literally Damn. tastes like bacon. Yeah. Damn. I I've done bugs, and uh, my dad's from Puebla, Mexico, which is South Mexico, yeah. and uh, I had a. Chapolinas, like grasshoppers yeah. in a taco because my cousin tricked me. <laughs> Dude, it was so good, but I was so up. mad at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Why are you giving me this shit? And they're That's like, ah, awesome. pendejo. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Oh, there's another one. What about Mexico? Do y'all do Mexico? We haven't yet, man. And, and it just and now now it's it's tough because You're you know, gonna text me when you go to Mexico because yeah. I wanna see I bet y'all would fucking kill south america and mexico yeah yeah we've been waiting for the right offer and that's the thing about us now is like uh-huh. you know we have families and we don't go to that's Euro- true we don't yeah. go to europe and, and uk as much because we would always come back with nothing so it's basically oh. like a promotion tour Damn, you know yeah. it's to be gone a month you know and and work with no and come back with nothing we yeah. can't we can't do that anymore yeah so, it doesn't make sense so we, yeah. we definitely have to wait for the right opportunities and that you makes know, sense so we've been waiting it out i mean we, okay. it's time for us to go back we haven't been back to europe in about three years, so oh, you wow. know, and they they want it. They're just like fucking. Well, I was like, yeah. get the right promoter and let's fucking do okay. it. You know, as and long as how was how was Thai uh, Thailand like economic wise? Because I've heard, I heard that promoters are can be shady in some of these other countries <laughs> where you don't I'm get sure. paid what you were offered and shit like no, that. No, no, everything was it was legit. good. Everything oh, well, was that's legit. good. That's the good. Only, the only thing that happened was um, when we showed up to the airport to fly to. We're going right to Europe after that. Um, uh, I, there was a discrepancy and our flights weren't booked and we're like, oh fuck, like what oh, are we gonna shit. do now? Yeah. So wow. yeah, it, it turned into a big shit fest and then we, we ended up making it and that's because um, we're flying to Europe to meet with uh, Five Finger Death Punch and we're doing nice. a tour with them. Dude, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and we just 
we were like, we have to get there. Like, there's yeah, no way. It's like, too much. It's too big we, of an opportunity. We don't have no service. We're trying to yeah. get a hold of people. And we're just like, well, fuck. And we, we ended up getting the flights. So we had to pay for them ourselves. Ooh, but yeah. yeah it was, it was Damn. Plus your fuck. Man. Yeah. When that Mexico tour comes, even if y'all just did the North States, you could just drive yeah. there. Dude, drive to Monterey's four yeah. hours from here, man. <laughs> I'll fucking get the promoter going. That's funny. Get so it's the only here. question I have left is um, at this point in your career, do you guys, you guys are going to be very selective or do you guys want to tour more? Or? Yeah, I think yeah. that's the thing is we're, we're very uh, selective and precise. Like we, we, we're self-managed. So now okay. we don't have anybody that's like, you know, oh, pushing us all boss. the time. Cool. Like we, yeah. yeah, we're our own boss. We do it's what good. we want. You know, the labels that they understand, like we have families like, hey, let's let's make it work. Let's do the tours that matter and that work. So you guys aren't just overworking yourselves because yeah. that's what happens. That's why bands break up is exactly they're, they're overworked. They get burned out and then they're yep. paying everybody else. So they're not making shit. And it's just yep. like oh, we wow. learned that the hard way. And, you know, we almost got to that point as well. But <laughs> we just like let's just fire everybody <laughs> and, <laughs> right over. and we yeah. now we print our own merch we, cool, we manage man. ourselves like we yeah. do everything ourselves that's and, great dude. and that's how we survive diy man yeah, that, yeah. that's the whole thing yeah dude. yeah, you know yeah we mean? don't tour in a bus we still do van and trailers oh wow yeah, dude. Dude, dude no yeah. fucking way dude, it's crazy you guys no are so big already yeah, like it's yeah. insane yeah. that's how we do it man i can't imagine that shit dude and, and that's how we yeah. that's how we're able to survive that's damn dude but that's good man i mean y'all are still hard working you have a mission and it and it seems like you guys have trimmed the fat and know where you're going. Yep, exactly. And and you and Danny right now, for sure, I see that you guys are always promoting on Instagram, mm-hmm. trying to get your shit out there, writing great fucking albums. You know, all together, I can see you guys making the next level and doing it independently is going to be even more rewarding. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So that's fucking awesome, man. I, I, I'm happy to see you guys Hell fucking surviving yeah. and fucking doing the shit. Because like I said, being a band for 10 plus years, that's a fucking ride to patch yourself. Fifth <laughs> album? Fifth yeah, album? Yeah, fifth Motherfuckers are lucky to do one album, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all are number five. We, we stood the test, man, of time, you know. Hell that's yeah. Case, cool, man. That's great, dude. You all are, you know, hometown heroes. Best, I, I biggest metal band from San Antonio. Who, who's the other one? Legs Diamond? Whatever, <laughs> Legs Diamond, bro. <laughs> I don't even know. They, make five, they didn't make five albums, I don't yeah, think. I, don't know, <laughs> I didn't even know he was from San Antonio. I, I thought they were. I thought so, they too. They used to blow it up on 99.5. Because I thought they were from San Antonio. I could have sworn. That's so what we maybe. need to get on is to the local radio stations dude. to play something. No, oh, come on. Don't get you it wrong. No. He's going to go on a tangent, on on a tangent on dude. <laughs> this is a whole shot of 99.5. Why do you play Wait. Nevermind, fucking uh, Appetite for Destruction, and the Black Album like they came out yesterday? Those albums have been out for 30 fucking dude. years. Throw a new band in the Dude, mix. I think there's a whole side of it. There's a radio yeah, contract. There's, yeah, there's course, too it's much. It's just business. It. Yeah. It's business. Yeah. It's business, dude. What are the people going to listen to, dude? But because who's who lis- who's listening to the radio? It's usually older. The you know, jams, bro. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Those are the jams, bro. Hey, for whom the belt dolls? One more time. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. But yeah, man, you got to make that that pitch them because I could see where the champ is coming, being a great yeah. radio hit. You yeah. know what I mean? Even uh, if y'all did that, uh, the King of Diamonds. And it did like a radio version where you took out some of the devil bass. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe some of this did a little more clean. Because th- you know what? It always reminds me. Five Finger Death Punch had that that song that just just. Oh, the bleeding. The bleeding. But it was a radio edit version. They had two version. different uh, versions of it. Wait and Bleed. Same yeah. thing Wait and Bleed. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Wait and Bleed had a radio edit version. Yeah. I think y'all should think about doing a radio edit for one of those songs. Pick yeah. the one. Try radio edit. Dude, I will go to 99.5. <laughs> I'll find Billy Madison. And I'll be like, look, motherfucker. Stop playing the same songs. These guys from San Antonio. They're signed. They have like, what do you guys have? Like 3 million streams on BMF yeah. on fucking Spotify. Y'all are a big deal. You know what I mean? So. Motherfuckers, we'll, up, we'll get them. We'll get them. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'll sell fucking ice di- fucking Eskimos, dude. You put me on anyone. I'm That's going. awesome, man. But yeah, man. So uh, I got nothing more unless you have another question for Ruben. We'll get you out of here. It's nah, probably man. been an hour. Uh, we'll give you a gift, and my gift are two bottles, man. Oh, Take yeah. the bottles, dude. Drink <laughs> it up. Yeah. But yeah, man. Upon a burning body, follow Groovin. Gr- Groovin. Groovin. Ruben. Groovin. Ruben. Yeah. A motherfucking Instagram. Follow upon a burning body on Instagram. New album, Southern Host- Hostility. If y'all motherfuckers think UABB dropped off, they didn't. They're right motherfucking here. Yeah, and guess right. what? They're breaking better metal than ever, bitch. When they come to your town, Corpus, buy two tickets. Woo. You and a fucking friend. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I did. <laughs> that's that's what I did. So we'll see you next time. If you think Southern Hostility isn't good, what's their opinion, JJ? They're wrong. Your opinion is <laughs> wrong, out, my bitch. friends. So we'll see you next time, cocksuckers. Keep it going. You. Yeah.